today's case talks about vacating. That's the fancy legal word for undoing a final judgment. Now, in Illinois, we have two flavors of this, if you will. Uh, one is under Section 1301. That kind of covers final orders that are less than 30 days old. Then we have Section 1401, and that's for undoing orders that are more than 30 days old. Now, 1401s are tough. There is a two-year statute of limitations to file this, and you have to plead either fraud, duress, or mutual mistake. In addition, you also have to show due diligence. Now, due diligence means, at least in this context, that the moment you realize there was a problem, you ran straight into court. Now, there is also a fourth exception that's buried under Section 1401, subparagraph F, that's where the order sought to be vacated is void. Now, void in this context isn't what you think it may be. Void for purposes of subparagraph F generally means that uh, either one, the court never had personal or subject matter jurisdiction over you, two, the statute was unconstitutional on its face, or three, you were sentenced in excess of what the statute allowed. 1401 F pleadings do not have a two-year statute of limitations or due diligence requirement meaning in theory they can be attacked at any time. Now, in the civil procedure context, the most common example is found in small claims. You know, that's kind of where this process server went out, served someone at an address that the defendant wasn't living at, at least at the time, and only years later was the problem discovered, usually when the defendant's wages are suddenly being garnished. Now, without muddying the waters, there may be a fourth basis under Section 1401, subparagraph F, which is where the underlying contract slash judgment was void for violating public policy and was ergo never enforceable to begin with. You know, a family law example might be if you have two pro se parties that enter into a very voluminous agreement and buried deep in that agreement is a clause that states something like uh, child support can never be modified. You know, when the judge is kind of skimming through it, somehow they missed it, and only years later does it become an issue, in which case the, the problem would be whether the entire agreement has to be tossed out or just that particular provision. Certainly food for thought. Anyways, that's all I have. If you want more of these commentaries, hit that like button because, hey, they're free.